Hey, what's going on? Well, Princess Sampson here, and I help health conscious consumers get rid of toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. In this video, we are talking about the difference between Fiji and smart water. So what you're essentially asking for is a water battle. We're gonna see which one of these is the best in a heads to head or a heads up competition, all right? All right, before we get started, I highly recommend you smash that subscribe button. The reason why is because you'll be able to check out more content like this that provides tips, tricks, and tactics to improve your overall wellness. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. We got our artesian water here. So this, I guess, would be the beauty. We have Fiji water coming in all the way from Fiji. Right? <laughs> and we have the smarts. We have the brains, right? So we have our smart water. I don't know where this water is from, but <laughs> this is some highly smart water. This is pretty much a battle of brains versus beauty, right? We're gonna see which one is better, right? Now, the first thing we're gonna test for is antioxidants. Now you're probably thinking, well, Princess, why, why, why antioxidants? Well, here's why. This is because we have these things all around us known as free radicals, right? And they are in the air that we breathe, they're the foods that we eat, our electronics, um, and all kinds of things. And what they do is they come in and they take electrons away from our healthy cells. They're just constantly grabbing, all right? And it's not fair, it's not cool, we don't like that, okay? And so we consume things that have antioxidants. So these are your, your fruits, your vegetables, your vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. These things are known as antioxidants and they have extra electrons in them. And what they do is when we consume them is they give out electrons to those cells that need them, okay? That way uh, we start feeling better because when that oxidation, when the electrons start getting taken from the cells, that creates oxidation and inflammation in the body. And those two things are linked to every single health disease known to man. We don't want to experience that. So that's why our water should be an antioxidant. Now, your oxidizing things, they're positively charged. And your antioxidants are negatively charged. And how we test that is using an ORP meter. And ORP stands for oxidative reduction potential or the potential to reduce oxidation. Now, if we see a positive number, when we put this in the water, guess what? It's gonna start having us look like this banana, all right? It's gonna start creating that oxidation, creating more inflammation and sickness and aging in the body. However, if we see a negative number, that means it's an antioxidant, it's gonna bring down that oxidation, reduce that inflammation, it's essentially gonna be the fountain of youth. So let's see what we get here. We're gonna start with our Fiji water. Let me know who you're going for in this, by the way. Let me know in the comments. All right, so it looked like a 240 for Fiji water and it's slowly climbing that shows you that our air is oxidizing. Let's take a look at smart water and see how it does. Get this out of the way. All right, let's see what we get. All right, so it's coming down. It's looking like a 220, 222, All right? So they're both oxidizing now. So I would say the smart water is less oxidizing in this battle, but it just matters. It just depends on when they were created, right? Because it could easily be flip-flopped, but they're both oxidizing, okay? Now, I'm gonna bring out this other water here. It's not part of the battle, but I just want to show you that there is a water that is an antioxidant. And if neither of these are gonna do it, then we should probably drink something that is gonna actually help improve our health. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. Let's see what we get. Look at that, a negative 780, right? And it's steadily changing, yeah. This is a negative 700, so it's showing I don't know if you can see it, but that negative number is great. It's full of antioxidants. It's exactly what we're looking for. All right, so in this first battle, in this first test, I think smart water was a lesser one. So I think that's the one we're gonna go with, but they're both oxidizing us. 
All right, the second thing we're checking out for now is alkalinity, okay? Our blood must maintain a 7.365, all right? It should stay around that range. And if we're consuming things that are acidic, guess what? They're eating the electrolytes and minerals that are in our body. And if we keep consuming those acidic things and not balancing it out with something that's alkaline, our blood's gonna stay that 7.365, it's just gonna take it from us. It's gonna start taking it from our skin, right? It's how we get eczema, right? This is um, how we get a lot of different skin issues. And if it continues to happen, it's gonna take taking it from our bones, joints, and our ligaments, right? This is how osteoporosis happens. It's how we're cracking when we get up in the morning. Um, and then if it continues, it starts taking it from our brain. This is how osteoporosis happens. Not osteoporosis, Alzheimer's. <laughs> All right, so how do we test this? We use pH drops, okay? Now, if we see a red, an orange, or a yellow, that means it's acidic, it's eating the minerals and electrolytes in our body. However, if we see a blue, a purple, or a dark purple, that means it's alkaline. It's actually gonna keep us in balance and provide those extra minerals so we, we stay good, you know? <laughs> so let's see what we get here. We got Fiji. And we got smart water. Whoa, that's a big difference, right? <laughs> uh, let's just do this one for fun. All right, so as you can see, smart water looks pretty acidic. <laughs> looks pretty acidic while our Fiji water looks better. Okay, let me go ahead and test that though by giving it some acidity. Okay, so I gave it a little bit and it's still neutral, it's still showing up better than smart water, okay? And that should make sense because this comes from a spring, I'm guessing it comes from a spring, all right? And this is distilled water. So in distilled water, they remove everything and then add stuff in the end. So, um, and they remove it by boiling the water and catching the water that gets boiled, all right? So um, this one is a little bit better when it comes to this. And I, I mean, you can see that this one is probably the best one, but I'll go ahead and try to give it some acidity as well. The difference is this one doesn't change. And the reason why is because it's not, we're not adding stuff, anything in it. We just change it by electricity, shock it. That's all, that's all this is being, it's all that's happening to this one, all right? So that is the second test. That is on alkalinity. As we can see, looks like Fiji is winning this battle. All right, it looks like we are neck and neck in this battle with smart water barely winning with oxidation or ox antioxidants, but not really because it's still oxidizing us. And yet Fiji is winning on the alkalinity, okay? So this is a little bit more alkaline. Next, and our final one is on superior hydration. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try to make tea with these cold beverages. Now you're probably thinking, first off, why are we, why, why are we doing this? All right, well, the reason why is because we want to see how small the water is, all right? The smaller surface tension that the water has, the easier it is to get absorbed into our cells. So just picture for me a chain link fence, all right? Just close your eyes picture a chain link fence. Now, if we take a beach ball and we hurl it at that fence, is it gonna go through it? Probably not, it's gonna bounce back out, right? But we take out this marble and put it through that same fence. If it's small enough, right? <laughs> it's gonna go through that fence, it's gonna hit someone's car and you're gonna blame me for it, all right? And I don't want that to happen, but that's how our water should be. Our cells are all linked, like extremely tight. And our water should be able to pass through actually give us the nutrients and the minerals that we need. So let's see if Fiji can make us some tea. And as you can see, it's not really making a lot of tea. It's not making any, really. It's not doing anything, all right? 
And normally we have to boil the water to make tea and we're doing that. When we do that, we're making the water small enough so it can actually pass through the tea bag and pull out the nutrients. So let's go ahead and check out smart water, see if there's a difference there. It doesn't really look like there's a difference. And the thing is, I'm having to jump up and down. So look at this, you shouldn't have to jump up and down to get hydrated. Okay, so they're about even. Let me do the Fiji water one more time. Yes, yeah, looks like the smart water did a little bit better, but I wanna say they're the same. And this is like barely making any tea. That's what I'm talking about, is like not making any. Like this isn't hydrating us. Just look how small that is. However, let me grab that water. Let's see what happens this time. Let me try to make some tea. Look at that, it immediately makes tea. Like, so this is actually hydrating us very well, as opposed to these two. So, even with a uh, little bit of tea that's in there, it's able to make some. So, it looks like these, neither one of these do a good job of hydrating us. Neither one of these do a good job of hydrating us. So we're paying for water that doesn't hydrate us, that is oxidizing us, and isn't really that alkaline. It's weird. But that concludes this battle. So when it comes to which one is better, we tested for three things, right? We tested it first for antioxidants, and we saw that they were both oxidizing. They are both oxidizing us, right? It's just this time, there's a little bit more oxidation in here for the Fiji than for the smart water. And the second thing we tested for was for alkalinity, being able to ensure that we are keeping our blood at 7.365 without doing harm to our skin, to our body. And we found out that the Fiji was a little bit better, but they're both the same. Third and final we looked at was superior hydration. And we saw that neither one of them are good at hydrating us. So, who won? You let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you are serious, if you are serious about drinking the best water for your health, since we're 75% water, reach out to me, all right? You can catch me on my website, laprentissampson.com. You can also find me on Facebook where I have videos and content there that's too hot for YouTube, right? So you definitely want to check that out. Last but not least, if there's another water bottle you want to see or if there's something you want me to test, also let me know and I look forward to making that a reality, all right? Our body is 75% water. We deserve the best. You deserve the best. And uh, remember, if you change your water, you change your world, all right? Thanks for watching this. I had fun doing this and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.